Star Wars 7x7 episode 1782 today. Another one question interview from Star Wars Celebration Chicago. In this time it's with Paul Duncan, author of the Star Wars Archives 1977 to 1983 and a fun story about how that interview took place. Here we go. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode where we're going to share the one question interview with Paul Duncan, author of Tashin's The Star Wars Archives. Now, the funny thing about this is, or at least you know, I thought it was, first of all, well, this isn't really the funny part, um, it just so happened that I had a break in my schedule at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, and I knew that Paul Duncan was doing a session in the Twin Suns stage, which was on the first floor of McCormick Place, and so I hot-footed it over there to try and catch Mr. Duncan after the panel, so that way I could do the interview. Well, as it turned out, he was signing copies of the Star Wars archives, and so I took a seat nearby and just kind of waited it out, and he was incredibly gracious with his time, listening to all the people who were lining up to get their books signed after the panel, and it was really kind of a beautiful thing to sit and witness. I was far enough away where I wasn't eavesdropping on anyone, but just you could tell, you know how you can tell when you watch people talking from afar, whether the conversations are nice or pleasant, you're looking at body language, and just everything seemed very pleasant and wonderful about it. And so I walked over after the last folks were filing away and introduced myself, and he said that he had to be at a signing right after that, but that, you know, I could certainly walk with him and I would, you know, talk with him about the interview and then hopefully interview him before he had to get with his signing. And he had a person with him who was sort of operating as a bit of a handler and also had copies of the Star Wars archives for him to be signing. But because this book is so enormous, she had a hand truck, like a whole big, you know, rig to push these things along because there were dozens of them on there. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, it was necessary to have this thing to roll it along. It was pretty pretty crazy. And if you look at some of the reviews on Amazon, <laughs> there are jokes on there about how it can be used to, uh, you know, smash a wampa if one ever breaks into the house or, you know, smash your foot if you ever drop it <laughs> on your foot. I mean, it is a substantial book to be sure. Anyway, so while the, uh, while the nice person <laughs> pushing the cart with all the books around, went to the elevator. Paul and I walked up to the third floor, took the escalator up to the third floor and walked to the exhibit hall and chatted about his experience at Celebration and writing the book. And also I gave him a moment or three to chew on the question of when it comes to Star Wars, what do you know for sure? So uh, yeah, and that's how the interview ultimately came to be. So we got into the exhibit hall and before we made it to the um, place where he was doing the signing, he stopped and we just had the brief conversation and that was kind of how it went down. So after the break, I will share with you the interview with Paul Duncan, the one question interview, and say that, hey, he's actually going to do a Star Wars archives for the prequel trilogy stuff as well, which is very cool too. So be on the lookout for that in not too distant future. Uh, but in the definitely <laughs> closer distant future, not very distant at all. In fact, just about eh, 45 seconds from now, I'll have the interview with Paul Duncan for you. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode. And of course, may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. And now stay tuned right after the break, Paul Duncan. Hey there. If you're enjoying all the coverage that I'm bringing you from Star Wars Celebration and what I do every single day for you at Star Wars 7x7, I hope you'll consider putting something in the tip jar at patreon.com slash sw7x7. $1, 327, 501 or more. Honestly, every little bit helps and every little bit is just as exciting as every other little bit. Please consider supporting me in the work of delivering Star Wars stories and interviews to you on a daily basis at patreon.com slash SW7X7. Hi, all right, can you please tell everybody your name and what you do with Star Wars? 
Uh, my name is Paul Duncan and I've written the Star Wars Archives. Yeah. Which is a tremendous book and congratulations. Thank, thank you so much. An amazing labor of love. Yeah, certainly. So here's the big question for you. When it comes to Star Wars, what do you know for sure? All right. I didn't know this for sure, but after doing the book, I now know it for sure. Uh, I know that Star Wars was my first love. I didn't realize until I finished the book, when I actually went back into my memory a long, long time ago, <laughs> in a galaxy not so far away, um, that Star Wars was the first film that I saw on my own that I wanted to see, that I paid for. Uh, all the films before that were with my family, uh, and they chose the movies, more or less. So this is the first film that I wanted to see, all right? And that, I didn't realize it again until doing the book, that all the research that I did for the six months between hearing about the movie and the film actually being released in the UK, all right? It was all about research, about the background, how it was made, who was in it, what was going to happen, images, every scrap of information I wanted to find. And of course, more than 40 years later, I'm doing it all over again. <laughs> so what I, what I know is that Star Wars started me on the, on the life that I'm living now. That's amazing, it's come full circle like that. Absolutely. So for anyone who wants to find out more about what you're doing online, uh, where should they go? Well, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, at Kersh, K-E-R-S-H-E-D, just come and say hello. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks very much. I, I've enjoyed it. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.